I just wanted a nice easy recording day. Yeah. We're gonna try and do this fast because it's supposed to start raining. 10 amazing benefits of a honeysuckle tea. Now honeysuckle isn't as well known over here in the uh, west, but it's been used for thousands of years over in the east where it's been used since, gosh, the Tang Dynasty. Now there are two main varietals of honeysuckle. There's Lanacera japonica and Lanacera cerulea. The problem with it is that it's become a major invasive species in North America. There's about 180 species, um, only 17 of which are usable. Some of the berries from some of the species are bad. Luckily the tea is generally made with the flowers, uh, not so much with the berries. So when you're looking about the problem with the berries, you're not gonna be having a problem so much with the actual tea, okay? Immune benefits. Now, there's lots of antioxidants, including things like quercetin, then lots of, a good amount of vitamin C, um, a little bit of fiber, um, and some other vitamins involved with uh, honeysuckle tea that it makes it really helpful. Of course, honeysuckle tea, you know, when you're compared it to an extract and whatnot, isn't as potent in the amount of vitamins and minerals that it's going to have. Some doctors have even said that honeysuckle can't cure, but it can make dealing with COVID problems easier thanks to its immune boosting, boosting? Immune boosting and anti-inflammatory properties. Diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, constipation, or gastroenteritis that persists due to food poisoning or some other problems. All are the usual suspects, without the exception of maybe the gastroenteritis, of problems that'll come up with uh, digestive issues. And all of these things have been said that honeysuckle tea can deal with. Oh boy, here comes the rain again. Another unique one is that honeysuckle tea is actually supposed to be very helpful for people with hepatitis C because uh, people with hepatitis C tend to have problems with nausea and vomiting. It can also help in curing dysentery and ulcers. Oh, pause. My brilliant outside recording endeavors being thwarted by the rain. Thanks, rain. Love you, but hate you. This day is fighting me every single way imaginable, but it will not be taken down. So next, we have the anti-inflammatory and pain benefits. Now these are basically the same thing because most of the pain benefits come from the anti-inflammatory aspects of honeysuckle tea. And then there was the plain. Sipping on a cup of honeysuckle tea has been a recommended remedy for headaches for many generations. There are several studies about honey... Blah, 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 There are several studies about how honeysuckle can help with inflammation and pain, though most of these are on the honeysuckle berries and extract, not the tea. What you'll often find is that the tea can still help. As soon as you have it, you can feel an immediate effect, whereas if you have an extract or something else along those lines, it tends to take a little bit of time before it takes effect. According to the studies, the anti-inflammatory benefits are supposed to be especially helpful for arthritis. Now the skincare benefits are as an area where you're actually not supposed to drink the tea, you're supposed to put it on you, but you still actually brew the tea and then you use it kind of like a poultice. Hello wind. More fun stuff. Pretty. There's dogs barking. And motorcycles. I'm so loving this. Honeysuckle tea can be used to treat cuts and abrasions as well as skin rashes like poison oak. In fact, for centuries, indigenous Americans have boiled fresh honeysuckle leaves and bathed skin wounds with the tea to prevent infection and speed healing. Now you'll often find honeysuckle oil added to skin creams and ointments for things like eczema, psoriasis, and rosacea. Honeysuckle tea is supposed to help the aging process as well by fighting free radicals and stopping things like skin damage and wrinkles. Okay, it's time to drink your honeysuckle tea again. Honeysuckle is a potent expectorant and can be used for all kinds of respiratory problems, including colds, flu symptoms, bronchitis, COPD, asthma, fever, and even pneumonia. I am getting cold, quite cold. Honeysuckle tea is a nice broad spectrum antibacterial agent, including this whole host of bacterial problems that I'm not gonna name, but included in this is strep, tuberculosis, and salmonella. I lost the cat. 
Oh, God. I lost that cat. There also have been studies that show that honeysuckle tea can help balance your glucose levels, and there have been studies that show how it helps with both type 2 diabetes and diabetic nephropathy. Nef nephropathy. <laughs> nephropathy. <laughs> what is that sound? Honeysuckle teas, antioxidants, and anti-inflammatories are great for the helping the onset of cancer, especially quercetin, which I already mentioned before. Lots of people also make homemade mouthwash with honeysuckle tea. This is thanks to its astringent and antibacterial properties. Now, research has also shown that honeysuckle tea can help with overall gum health, bad breath, cavities, and sore throats. I know you aren't stupid, at least I hope you're not, but just so you heard it from me, don't gargle your tea while it's hot. Yeah, that would be bad. Research has also shown that honeysuckle tea is a great antiviral because it is an immunomodulatory agent, <laughs> which means it can fight infections and allergies. Now, there are also various other benefits that uh, honeysuckle tea could possibly be good for, but I didn't find that much research on them yet, so I'm just listing them all right here. There you go, enjoy. And as far as pregnancy, now, I've heard multiple, multiple sides on this. A lot of people are careful about it. They always are over careful when it comes to pregnancy and teas. With honeysuckle, I did hear some talk about herbalists and other people actually using the tea during pregnancy, especially during the early stages of pregnancy to help with the nausea and things like that. And also it's been used throughout the years to help relax women uh, during childbirth. So there are actually lots of things saying that it can be used while you're pregnant and, you know, giving birth. But, of course, the current people are always very sensitive about these things when there isn't research, so they say, oh, be careful when using it, so... There you go. Now, for some people, the topical application of it can cause some skin irritation if it's something you might be allergic to. Excess honeysuckle can also irritate your digestive tract, and a person could get dehydrated because it's a bit of a diuretic. It's good for colds and flus, but it says if you have a cold, you may want to avoid the Japanese honeysuckle. Also, it shouldn't be used with people with spleen deficiencies. Spleen deficiencies. Spleen. And as always, there are certain medications that will react poorly with it, especially things like blood clotting uh, medications, because taking honeysuckle along with those might increase the risk of bruising and bleeding. How do you make honeysuckle tea? Well, the easiest way is you put about one to two tablespoons of the dried honeysuckle in about eight ounces of water. Fresh flowers, you probably want to use about a half a cup to a full cup, depending on just how strong you want it. I've heard from several different sources that you want to do it a little bit less than boiling, whereas most herbal teas you're going to do at boiling. Now, a lot of people say that you should probably do it um, just a little bit under that. And when it comes down to it, uh, five to ten minutes, a little bit more towards ten minutes, because it's a very mild tea. So um, when you're having it, you either want to probably have it with some other herbs. I've heard having it alongside um, astralgus, that, um, or some other more flavorful herbs is probably going to be best. Maybe some honey, of course. Yeah, by itself, it's pretty light. If you like a super light tea, go for it by itself. Otherwise, that's it. I'm tired of this. It actually is decent at the moment, besides the motorcycle happening right now. I'm leaving. Watch this video next. Take care. Dear. Gosh, I can't believe I made it through that. It probably sucks. I can't thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video because, oh my gosh, this was a hellish video. I am leaving, going, no more.